Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where skincare is all about progression over perfection because perfection doesn't exist. Today I want to take a look at some new skincare releases, launches, well new-ish. We got some really new and some kind of oldish new, but they're, they're still new, you know? Um, and just basically see whether we think they're worth or not, of course, or this is my own opinion, and it's mainly about whether I'm gonna be buying these or not, and hopefully my opinion might help make up your opinion, um, and just generally chat skincare together. So let's take a look. I need to talk about this one straight away because I feel like I've been giving Fenty skin a bit of a hard time recently, but you know, I talk to others in the skincare community and they all kind of agree with me that we kind of feel somewhere Fenty Skin lost its way. By somewhere, I mean at Cookies N Clean. But this is a product from Fenty Skin that really has me excited and interesting again. So Fenty Skin say, defeat dark spots, dullness, and discoloration in one hit. Our new Watch Your Tone Dark Spot Serum does it all with a team of skin-loving ingredients. So this is basically a niacinamide serum that doesn't look like a very basic, boring niacinamide serum. So we have 5% niacinamide to help reduce the look of dark spots, discoloration, discoloration and brighten skin alongside helping regulating sebum production, could potentially help um, make your pores look smaller. I don't like saying that, what's the right word? Reduce the, the look of enlarged pores. And so many other things, we love niacinamide, and 5% is a, is a nice percentage. So we have vitamin C, it's 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, so a more stabilized version of vitamin C to help brighten your skin tone. We have licorice root extract, which I love for evening out skin tone, helping reduce the appearance of dark spots. With me, it's usually after I get like a tiny little spot, it goes, but it leaves a dark mark. And I love lick like Aquel do a really nice range of licorice root extract. That's what kind of got me interested. And then of course we have their Barbados Cherry, which is basically again, another version of vitamin C, um, but they say to help brighten, clarify and even skin tone. We have aloe leaf juice in here as well, which I find incredibly um, moisturizing, hydrating, cooling, soothing. Oh, green tea they have in here as well, glycerin. It just sounds like a really nice overall new approach to a niacinamide serum. I feel like every brand has their version of their niacinamide serum and it's boring. We know what niacinamide does, it's in everything but it's nice to kind of have it in this one serum that really does appear to do it all other than exfoliate, you know? The packaging I'm completely obsessed with, not only does it look fun to use, <laughs> kind of like this kind of like um, squeezy tube, almost like an injection, it's kind of cool to use, but it's completely unique, I've never seen that before, and it looks like it gives the dose that you need in one kind of pump. But yeah, I don't, I've never seen this type of, type of packaging before, but I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to try this product. Finally, I think Fenty are reeling me back in with this one. Next up, we have a couple of sunscreens. We're going to take a look at the Good Molecules one first. Good Molecules is a brand that I, I'll be honest, I kind of lost interest in a, a while ago. I used to love them. I used to use them all the time and I even did some sponsored work with them, but then I just kind of got bored with them. I feel like with Good Molecules, once you've seen their products, that's kind of it. There's not much more to say about them. And there are now so many more affordable, better alternatives. They also started doing that disclosure of every single ingredient on their packaging, which I don't personally like because it doesn't mean anything to the average consumer and can just kind of cause more confusion. But they have launched um, a new mineral sunscreen, Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. They say meet the sunscreen for every skin tone, good molecule Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30, the minimal white cast, minimal white cast, so not no white cast, but you'd expect that from mineral. Mineral white cast formula protects from UVA and UVB rays and is infused with hydrating ingredients and antioxidants. The weightless, fast absorbing sunscreen is suitable for all skin tones and types, leaving behind a non-greasy residue. Honestly, it looks good. It doesn't look bad at all. They say that it has 13.3% zinc oxide, um, minimal white cast, and it's got grapeseed oil, Takuma seed butter and hyaluronic acid to help hydrate the skin. It has a natural finish, so it's not matte, it's not dewy, it's natural. It is 100% mineral. Usually when they do like these sheer mineral sunscreens, it's mixed in with chemical filters, which I don't know, I don't know how it works, but I always feel maybe helps with the sheerness of the sunscreen, because I often find mineral sunscreens to be a little bit thick, cakey, um, mattifying, 
and obviously white cast, but this apparently is 100% mineral. Well, no, 13.3% zinc oxide, but you know, just a mineral sunscreen. They say that it's also formulated with non-nano zinc oxide, which the idea there is that it's meant to be less irritating for the skin. They have an example here of a black lady using the full amount of sunscreen and it really just that does just disappear on the skin why i keep emphasizing the two fingers because that's you know a recommended dose of um sunscreen for your skin but what a lot of these sunscreens do is they say that they got a sheer mineral sunscreen that will work on all skin types and skin tones and they use a pea size amount of like sunscreen and they go look there's no white cast and it's like well because you've not used the right amount so it's good to see the full-on demonstration of the proper amount of sunscreen being used on all skin tones and it looking sheer so yes i am interested in that one i'm not gonna lie i might um take a look back at good molecules next up is one that a lot of people have been waiting for this is the naturium dew glow moisturizer spf 50. So they say that their daily moisturizing sunscreen is formulated with organic chemical sunscreen filters that apply invisibly on all skin tones to, provi to provide broad spectrum SPF 50 PA++++. Protection while leaving a dewy radiant finish, niacinamide, ethyl ascorbic acid are included to help visibly improve the look of the complexion. The sunscreen filters being homosalate, octisalate, and avobenzone. I said that like a name there, avobenzone. I mean, really, this just looks like a really nice dewy moisturizer. Again, we've seen it on the, um, Instagram being used on all different skin types, tones. It's a chemical sunscreen. It's gonna work on even the darkest of skins, which I wish people would just use a chemical sunscreen. If a mineral sunscreen leaves a white cast, don't use it. There's no need. It's not more beneficial than a chemical sunscreen, despite what people say online, even when they got doctor in their name. But you know, it's fragrance free, which I don't need to care about, I, but I don't like fragrance in sunscreen because it's usually so strong because it's covering up the fragrance of the, the natural fragrance of, of the sunscreen. Then you've got to reapply it and you just, it's, you're just bombarded with fragrance. And I hate it when they make uh, sunscreen smell citrusy. <laughs> like I think that's such an odd color, color, flavor, smell, scent, fragrance to put in a sunscreen screen. But judging by the videos, Susan's own kind of like announcement video, people have already been trying this um, whilst it was in its like development stage. It, it gives me, it will give me that dewy glow finish that I really, really want from a sunscreen with you know, some of the highest protection you could get, 50 PA4 pluses. We've got niacinamide in here as well, and then ethyl ascorbic acid, so vitamin C. So it's gonna kind of help brighten your skin tone as well, um, boost, you know, the the um, antioxidant-ness. So yeah, I wanna try this. I'm really, really looking forward to trying this. Naturium just makes such elegant formulations at a really reasonable price as well. Like if you were to bottle that up and put it next to like Estee Lauder, or say it was Estee Lauder, I'll believe you because Estee Lauder are one of those brands that are pricey but have really nice formulations but Naturium is really affordable so yeah looking forward to trying that one as well. Next up we have the Glossier Swiss Miss Balm.com Universal Skin Salve. These are one of the very few things I like from Glossier. Sorry I've always said they're just like extra fancy Vaselines for your lip like lip balms um, but I do really like them. I like the consistency of them. I like the tint that some of them have and I like the way you don't have to constantly reapply these throughout the day. However I will be leaving this one. So they say this is a hydrating lip balm packed with antioxidants and natural emollients to nourish dry chaff chafed skin in original other fun flavors. So Swiss Miss is a limited edition with um, basically chocolate flavor, vanilla, sugar strands, with of a sheer chestnut brown tint. I quite like the idea of a chestnut brown tint, but artificial chocolate in cosmetics makes me feel sick because it always smells like the chocolate scented gel pen, which reminds me of pencil case, which reminds me of school. And it, it just brings back like memories that weren't bad, but I just rather not do. I don't want to do school again. And it's, it's like that artificial like choke on flavor. Now, usually I wouldn't mind, but what I will say about the Balm.com's, Glossier's Balm.com's overall kind of flavors, um, fragrances, scents within within the lip balms is that they are quite strong, not always in a bad way. So if you don't like the artificial chocolate, that scented gel pen chocolate, um, you're probably gonna hate this. I haven't tried it, but that's what I presume it's gonna be. Let me know if it is or isn't. But honestly, their, their balm.coms are one of my favorite products from theirs. I haven't bought it for a long time though. Um, moving on, this is very, very simple. This is Starface's new Black Star pimple patches. Perfect. I love the Starface pimple patches, black ones 
Legends, great. I got their Hello Kitty, I got their Sesame Street, I got their Glow in the Dark, I got their their foily looking ones. Black is my go-to color for everything. So I'm very, very happy they're launching these. Whatever they're launching, I'm buying, I'm collecting, I love them. Can we just quickly talk about this? So this is kind of straying away a little bit from skincare, but it makes sense because it's related to skincare. So this is um, Kim Kardashian's Skin Home Accessories. They say, artfully crafted from hand poured concrete, fill your space with tranquility, minimalist elegance. Now these range from um, $65 up to 129 for the waste basket. The round container is $69, a place for keepsakes and trinkets. See, no, see, the video is all wrong here because I would put cotton pads in there. Then the they've got like that little um, canister or whatever, you know, this, this little round one is. That is where my cotton buds would go. Then the tissue box, um, oh, that is 65 pounds. Tissue box is 89, the vanity tray, vanity tray is 65, the waste basket is $129. I'm not gonna lie, I love these. I always mentioned when um, the Skin by Kim collection came out, I loved the look of the products. I love that they look like just like concrete shapes. It's very modern, it's very elegant. In my review, however, they feel cheap to hold. The packaging is a little bit finicky, it's not the best. And I can guarantee you, you can find these concrete homewares, home accessories on Etsy for a much, much, much more affordable price. You know, and I'm not being like, don't support celebrities, you know, shop small and all that. I mean, do, but I just feel like someone's definitely making these on Etsy. Like they're, they're, they're not that hard to make. And even if it's not concrete, you can get like that gray, you know, they're all doing it on TikTok. They're mixing powder together and pouring it in molds. And I'm going to find it. I will post pictures here if I found it and link in the comments down, um, description down below if you want this for less, because I can guarantee you can find very, very, something very, very similar for even more than half the price. Like that's, that to me, those prices are, you don't need, you don't need to pay that for concrete. <laughs> I wouldn't do it myself, but you know, this is kind of interesting. I love fragrance. I really enjoy collecting them. I don't love you to the people though. I've not had great luck with their products, but they've released a limited edition fragrance with a brand called Dead Cool. Um, this is an Eau de Parfum. They say this ele elevating fragrance unites notes of violet leaf, vetiver, and cedar to form a community of expressive scents that help you to connect to the now, realize your potential, and raise your higher self. They say, sorry, I hate perfume descriptions. I right, just tell me if it smells expensive or not, or if it smells like, uh, if it's a night fragrance or not. Do you know I mean like I don't want to know like you know if it's gonna like make me feel like a new person because I put it on. Um, they say it smells like a pat on the back from the universe, leaning in and unrealized potential. Okay. So the collaboration comes in because it smells like their superfood cleanser. They say if you love the scent of the superfood cleanser, which I I. Get, I can't for the life of me remember if it smells like anything. And Dream Mask, you'll be obsessed. Made in collaboration with our friends at Dead Cool. Um, I'm interested in this though, because they are all my favorite. Um, sorry, I got a spot here, I shouldn't pick it. All my favorite notes, top note, violet leaf, middle, vetiver, bottom, cedar. And I love collaborations like this. I find it super interesting when um, different kind of cosmetics brands kind of unite or when food brands unite with candles, you know? I love these kind of crossovers. And like, there are there are products that I've, I need to stop picking this. Like if I can get like a fresh watermelon candle from um, Glow Recipe, I would love that. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, like the Fenty fragrance is a little bit too much for me, but if they made a candle, have they made a candle? They should make a candle if they haven't already. I would buy that and put that in the bathroom, you know? I kind of love these crossovers, so I am tempted to buy it whilst it's still available. So next up is a brand that I've been like getting more and more interested in, and that's Kapari, mainly for their body products. I love their body moisturizers, their spray on like moist body cream, whatever it's called is so, so nice. Their body polishes. Also their lip products as well. I mean, I've been enjoying their lip balms, but one that's interested me is their Coconut Renewal AHA Toner with 8.6 triple powered AHAs. Now, it's not interesting me because um, I'm gonna use it or like it. Um, I don't really like using AHAs on my rosacea because it, it really flares me up. But I find it interesting that they're making one and I find their products quite 
quite lovely really formulated and a, ple- and a pleasure to use. So the fact that they're kind of moving more into like the actives of like skincare is interesting. They say, renew your vibrance with this AHA powered toner that helps resurface skin and minimize the appearance of pores without stripping the skin's moisture. What makes it special? Formulated with niacinamide, which helps to work to minimize the appearance of pores, while hyaluronic acid um, and quenching coconut water work to hydrate and prevent moisture loss. And they got a sunburn alert, which I love that they do. They say whilst using this, obviously use sunscreen, blah, 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 blah. So 8.6 AHA is a little on the high side for me. Um, five is my abs- absolute limit really, and I don't ever feel the need to go any higher. But what I love about this is I usually find AHAs to be a little bit tacky on the skin. So I'll use them. Same with BHAs, exfoliating toners. They're kind of like a little bit tacky. Um, whilst they don't dry out my skin, they're never really, inten- their intention is never to hydrate or moisturize because it just exfoliates your skin. But this looks like a really quenching, hydrating kind of toner with the exfoliating properties in. So more of like a glow recipe, kind of like we're exfoliating, but we're hydrating at the same time. So it does look really like quenching for the skin. And I'd love someone to tell me how good this is. I'm not gonna use it, like I said, because of the AHAs, but please let me know if you're gonna use it and what you think of it. Or if you have used it and what you think of it, because it's been out for a little while, I would really, really like to know. I love the Fenty Skin Nice my product. That looks incredible. Um, and honestly, the Naturium, sunscreen looks great um and yeah check in the comments to see if i found any etsy alternatives to the skin by kim homeware accessories tissue box round thing um but yeah let me know if you've used any of these as i said i'm a little bit late they've already been out let me know if you use them if you're gonna buy them if you also don't really like the look of some of these that i don't like the look of either let me know all in the comments down below you can watch some more product reviews here some general light entertainment here and i'll see you over there (music) 